So we spent quite some time deriving this functional dependence of uh, density of states uh, and how it depends upon energy and so on. And we found that, you know, for the case of uh, three-dimensional semiconductor, it goes as e to power uh, half. For the case of one-dimensional semiconductor, it depends upon, it inversely depends upon energy by a relationship which is e to power minus one half and so on. But all too often it's, 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 it's the density of states which is you know very close to our band minimum so in this case let's say this is density of states uh, of uh, electrons so and this is my conduction band so it's it's usually the case where this density of state which is very close to this conduction band so only this density of state which is very close to my uh, band minimum that is uh, the most important uh, for uh, determining the characteristics uh, of my device and so let's see you know why why that is the case why <clears throat> the density of state uh, near to my band minimum uh, is the most uh, important one so let's you know let's start to do some things we uh, you know we can uh, derive from our density of state so you know if we know the density of uh, states uh, uh, for let's say our uh, conduction band then we can uh, what we can do is you know use it to derive the carrier density or the density of uh, electrons and holes uh, in our uh, in our semiconductor and that is uh, essentially given by by my total number of uh, uh, let's say this is for a conduction band so the total number of electrons would be given by my density of states multiplied by their occu uh, by multiplied by a probability of their occupation or multiplied by this uh, fermi function and if i integrate this so if i if i take this and uh, you know integrate this over uh, over my conduction band so i need, need to integrate from you know starting of my conduction band and you know integrate it up till infinity so integral of uh, this would essentially give me the total number of uh, carriers but you know, I know that my Fermi function, it's essentially of this nature where it exponentially dies off as I move away from my, for my Fermi energy. So my, my carrier density, which is essentially the overlap of these two functions, that is, you know, it's the overlap of my density of state function and my Fermi function. So the, this integral, if you want to visualize it, then, you know, I can, what I can do is essentially I can take this density of state so let me select it and and what I, I I'm doing in this case is essentially I'm doing this so I'm taking a multiple of these two function and I'm multiplying these two function uh, my density of state function and my uh, and my Fermi function and the integral of these two where they overlap will essentially give me my 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 career uh, my career uh, density and I can see that, you know, this is a function which is going as my density of state is a function which is increasing with energy. So my density of state is essentially increasing with energy as a square root. At the same time, my, my Fermi function, it's tailing off as I increase in my energy. So this is given by this functional form where it's essentially tailing off uh, way fast as I move away from my Fermi energy. So the only places where, you know, the density of states or the only states would be, which would be important would be essentially these state which are in the overlap of these two functions. So, you know, only these states would be the one which are very important. So it, I can already see that, you know, it's only these states which are very close to my conduction, uh, conduction band. These are the one which are determining my career density. So let's, you know, let's, let's put some math behind this intuition and let's try to derive this uh, career density. So what we, what we do need to do is essentially we, we need to take a multiplication of uh, these two functions. So as I just said, we take a, we take a multiplication of this uh, density of state function, which is, uh, which is increasing as a square root uh, of uh, energy. And then we multiply it by this Fermi function, which has a, uh, uh, let me use this right color, which has uh, this uh, exponentially dying off uh, dependence uh, from the Fermi energy. So what I get is essentially, you know, I can substitute my density of state uh, for a three-dimensional uh, semiconductor. And, you know, I'm assuming uh, uh, a 3D case uh, over here. 
and then I can substitute for this uh, density of uh, state uh, uh, as uh, this uh, formula as we derived in one of our uh, previous video and I have to try to use the same color so you know we can distinguish the same quantity as we move from equation to equation so I can substitute for my density of state similarly I can substitute for my Fermi function which is essentially given by 1 over uh, 1 plus e minus ef by kt and you know all I'm left to evaluate is I need to evaluate this integral so uh, I take out terms which are constant out of this integral so you know I, I see that you know this this tongue is, is really a constant so let's let's take it out and I take this term out uh, of this integral and what I'm left is is this form is this function in terms of uh, energy which gives me my my overall uh, career density.